welcome to Tessa's Tips Tuesday. Um, this is my third video and I'm so excited to share today's tips. Thank you for all of you who have commented and said how much I've helped. I hope I have been helping. So today we're going to talk about the timer. This is my best friend. Like, <laughs> I love my timer. I have talked about this before, but timers are, <laughs> you know, like... When you're a kid and they're like let's see who can clean up the fastest yeah that was me and that was how i like handled life and challenges like that was me i was like oh it's gonna be me so for me the timer is something that means a lot to me so i use it in very different ways multiple ways usually i use it several times a day so back when i was working when i was teaching and i get home i had no motivation to clean right you just dealt with a lot of kids <laughs> You're exhausted, you just wanna come home and you wanna sit. So what I would do is when I get home, I set a 15 minute timer, timer and I clean just for 15 minutes. Usually what happened though, is that pushed me through the lull of, I just wanna sit. Cause if you, get, if you get home, that momentum stops. And you stop what you're doing and you just sit for the rest of the day. So I use the timer to kind of get me past that momentum where I get myself into cleaning mode. So at the end of the day I use it, I'm like, oh, my house is kind of messy, I got things everywhere. You know, I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and hurry and go around my house and pick up everything I can in five minutes. If I don't get everything done, that's okay, because I did five minutes worth. If you really aren't motivated in the day, if you're like, you know what, I'm struggling, I just kinda wanna sit and do nothing today, I always am like, you know what, I'm gonna set a 15 minute timer and work on something, even a five minute timer, people, five, 10, 15 minutes, and I'm gonna work on an area that needs to be worked on. It doesn't need to be finished, it just needs to be started. So I do that a lot, if I'm like, you know, this, I don't wanna do this, I've been procrastinating it for days, I will set a timer, and hurry and do as much as I can in that time frame and then be done. Do it, just do it, just start. It's a great relief when your timer becomes your best friend. Also with my timer, I challenge myself a lot. I go, I'm gonna do 10 minutes. 10 minutes, let's see how fast I can get this done. But I'm gonna get this completely done in 10 minutes. I also use it a lot to see the actual time. Um, a lot of the times I'm like, let's just, just do your dishes, just do them. I timed myself because I would always be like, oh, I don't want to unload the dishes. It takes forever. Uh, really, it takes like five minutes and 35 seconds. I have five minutes and 35 seconds to not back up the rest of my day. I also do it with my bathroom when I'm not motivated to clean. So see the actual time it takes you because a lot of the time things are way shorter. Also, when you figure out how long things take you, it's a lot quicker. You're waiting for something. Um, you know that you've got to wait know, 10 minutes for your Instapot to be done. Okay, in 10 minutes, I could have the bathroom completely deep cleaned. All right, I'm gonna go get at it. Done, that's awesome. <laughs> that's the cool thing about knowing the actual time frame it takes to clean. Another thing is I always say I never have time to do things. I don't know if I'm the only one. I'm like, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time to clean that, I'm too busy. I like to challenge myself and say, okay, I bet this will take me five minutes and 25 seconds. Ready, go. And I like try to beat myself. I know that sounds like a very kiddish type thing, but it works for me. It totally works for me. So if it works for me, I know it's gotta work for other people. So if you are not motivated to clean your house today, if you're not motivated to do anything today, I tell you what, use a timer. There's so many different kinds. Most of the time I use my Alexa as my timer or I'm using my Apple Watch as a timer. So use what works for you and challenge yourself. Push yourself a little bit further, you know? I wanna sit down and wanna watch my favorite show. All right, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes of work before I do that, because then once you do sit down, you'll feel better because you actually spent the time to do something. So I hope you enjoyed your Tessa's tip for the timer, and I hope the timer becomes your best friend like it's become my best friend. Happy Tuesday.